Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you the very easy way to create animation like it's draw with traditional animating style. Don't worry if you don't have Clip Studio X version, you only need few keyframes to make this effect. Let's start with preparing process. All you need is artwork that the outline is done on the vector layer. You must skip to the fifth part of this tutorial for applying only the texture or create new vector layer and draft your outline. You only need to do it one time. Check my own tutorial about working with vector layer if you are not get used to this feature. The link is in the video description. Here is the artwork I prepare. I separate the turbine and eyes into a new group of layer for later animating. The key for creating traditional ink look is the texture. This is my favorite default brush, texture pen. You can adjust the brush by clicking on sub 2 detail icon at the two property panel. The main setting I use to customize the texture are the brush tip thickness and brush stroke gap. When finished custom the brush, click on this icon to duplicate the brush and give it a name. Reset the original brush by clicking on reset icon at the two property panel. We will apply this brush later on the vector layer of the outline. Go to Detail Setting and on the Brush Shape tab, click on Add to Preset button to register it to the preset. Then you can simply change the outline into our new custom brush. Use the Object tool and select on the vector layer. At the tool property panel, you can see the custom brush on the brush shape list. You can adjust the brush size and the brush property later in sub tool detail panel. Adjust the ink until you are happy with it. For some ink area that may mess up after changing the brush, you can adjust the ink thickness with Vector Correction Line Sub Tool. Use the Adjust Line Width tool with a narrow mode to fix it. You can also change the ink color with Object Tool and just select the color from Color Picker. Now the ink is done. I merge the color layer together. And go to Filter, Burr, Gaussian Burr. This will make the color edge look softer like painting with airbrush. Normally, when I make the ink effect for my animation, I draw some keyframes repeatedly and animate them together in loops. The ink will shake and slower if the frame rate is slower. Choose the frame rate that is matched to your project. Create a new timeline and set the frame rate. For Clip Studio Pen Pro, you will have playback limitation to 24 frames. So, if you set the frame rate to 4, you can make up to 6 second animation. Create a new animation folder and drag the ink layer to the folder. Rename the layer. Then make it appear at the timeline by clicking on the specific cell icon. Select the layer and drag it to copy. Then set it to appear after the first keyframe. Edit the brush stroke gap and brush tip size to make the ink look different from the first keyframe. And repeat the step with the third keyframe. When finished, set the keyframe repeatedly on the timeline. This will make very basic ink shaking animation. To make it look like the frame is drawing repeatedly, go to Line Collection sub tool and use the Pinch Vector tool to move the vector line a bit. Only a bit. 
repeat it to all the keyframe. And now it will look like all the keyframe has drawn repeatedly. To add rotation movement to the turbine, the in-shaking animation is better done in another file for less confusion. Right-click on the turbine folder, Fire Object, and create Fire Object. Make sure the area is setting to Drawing Area, and save the file. Edit the Fire Object by right-click, Fire Object, and open file of Fire Object. Create more space for the blur effect. Go to Edit, Change Canvas Size. Then add 20 pixels to each side. Merge the color layers and apply the blur filter. Change the ink with Object Tool and save the file. You may see the ink is not matching to the original image. You must adjust it. To make it easy to work, drag the canvas tab and dock it to the side. Now you can see the result every time you save the object file. Repeat the step of making ink animation. The animation of the object will not appear on the main image if you create the timeline in the object later. You must re-import the file as file object again. Go to File, Import, Create File Object. Then, move the object to replace the old one. For the rotation movement of the turbine, enable the layer keyframe for the object. Create a linear interpolation keyframe at the first frame. If you rotate or move the object, it will auto-create the keyframe on the current timeline position. You must be careful when you make edit after enable the layer keyframe. Set the last keyframe to 360 to rotate it in one full round. To change the moving direction of the keyframe, just drag it to switch the position on the timeline. Drag the last keyframe to the edge to remove the gap between the loop. For more detail about rotation movement, check my tutorial about animating magical ring. The link is in the video description. Repeat the step also for the eyes. To add the blink, I draw extra two keyframe for it at the middle of the timeline. Enable the onion skin to see the preview of the previous scenes. This will make it easier to draw. For the eye color, I put the color layer in another animation folder. Because we only need the one color layer, for the part of ink shaking effect. Repeat the ink shaking keyframe to the rest of the timeline. I also repeat the step for the cat eyes. And the eyes animation is done. If you finish the animation and not satisfied with the framelet, you can change it later by the menu, Animation, Timeline, Change Frame Rate. You also need to change the frame rate of the fire object too. Let's create more traditional look on your project. 
add the paper texture to the scene. Here I will use the standard pattern, drawing paper. You can find it in material panel, monochrome, texture. Drag the texture on the canvas. It will appear above the current active layer. Change the layer blending mode to linear burn and adjust the opacity down. You can scale the pattern with object tool. To change the color, set the layer color to the pattern layer. You can pick the color and fill in layer property panel. To make animation for the texture, create a new animation folder and drag the texture inside. Copy the texture to assign on another keyframe. Adjust the opacity and move the position with object tool. Then repeat the keyframe to all the timeline. Set the blending mode of animation folder to true to show the blending mode of each layer in the folder. For extra effect like exposure or vignette edge, drag the pattern to the new folder icon. Then change the blending mode of the folder to true. And you can add extra layers to create extra effect. For the exposure, fill the new layer with gray tone color and set the layer mode to add grow. For the vignette edge, create a new layer, paint the edge with gray tone color and airbrush. Then set the layer mode to linear burn. For camera shaken effect, create a new camera folder by the menu animation, new animation layer, and create 2D camera folder. Put all the layers inside the camera folder. Then adjust it a bit, only a bit, with object tool. This will automatically create the keyframe on camera folder. You can toggle the camera view in the tool property panel. If you want to add more layer effect, you must toggle the camera view back to field guide display mode. Here I add extra light to the character with airbrush and glow layer. You can also apply the correction layer to make the old film style. Go to layer, new correction layer, and gradient map. Select the sepia preset, and adjust the opacity down. And it's done! I hope my tutorial gets you some idea for your creation. Stay healthy and have fun animating.